untold story of 20-year-old gang hit girl says charms make me see human beings as fly welcome back to new face entertainment if this is your first time of coming to our channel kindly click on the red subscribe button and the notification bell and if you have already a subscriber we want to say thank you to both the new and the old subscribers now let's dive into the story a facial disposition wrapped in haggard looking frame depicts innocent in all its ramification and the hijab which covers her head, neck and shoulder revealing only her oblong shaped face elicits compassion on anyone she approaches for help. But a startling revelation of being the heat care of the dreaded a year confraternity confirmed that facial disposition can indeed be deceptive. Miriam Abiola was born 20 years ago in Lafenwa Abelkuta Ogun State. As she grew up, her mother, Mrs. Moreni Keji Abiola, reportedly reminded her that she would grow up to be a wealthy woman of repute in the society, according to a prophecy received at her birth. But the vagaries of life took a negative toll on her parents who could barely feed their children. As you watch this video, Abiola said she lost both parents in a mysterious circumstance. Unable to weather the storm, she was forced to drop out of school while in senior secondary school 3. In a search for greener pasture, she left her hometown in search of greener pasture in Lagos without having any relative in mind to stay with. While wandering on the streets of Lagos, she met one Sadiq Oyewumi, whom she considered an angel who came to her rescue. But that singular meeting transformed the naive Ogun girl into a bloodthirsty vampire who today has no regard for human life. In an interview with reporter Abiola, who was apparently oblivious of the magnitude of the crime committed, disclosed how she single handedly snuffed life out of four persons in a lesser major area of the state. Her confession was the first of its kind in the history of the Lagos State Police Command. She further stated that she was at the verge of quitting the area confraternity to work as an assassin for some unnamed politicians when she was arrested by the policemen attached to the Elasa Major Division led by the Divisional Police Officer Titilayo Oriyomi, a Chief Superintendent of Police. Recovered from her were two locally made revolver pistols, two live cartridges and nine pieces of 9mm live ammunition. Prior to our arrest, reporters gathered that on Monday, July 16, 2018, a fight broke, a fight broke out between rival court groups in the Lhasa Major area of the state. Consequently, suspected leaders of the rival group, Emeka Ioma 25, Eye Confraternity, and Oyeumi Sadiq. Aye were arrested alongside the Harbourist One Adio Ogunremi of 9 Godwin Omomus Street, Ilasa, and Abdurazak Yusuf, alleged Amara for the Aye Court Group. 
on interrogation. During investigation, Sadiq admitted to being a member of AA confraternity. He further stated that his brother, Waid Oyewumi, was shot dead by members of AA rival group court, allegedly led by Emeka Iyoma during a clash. He stated categorically that Iyoma pulled the trigger that snuffed life out of his brother. Report gathered that Oyewumi had concluded plans to eliminate Iyoma by sending their heat care Abiola when he was arrested. However, on his part, Iyoma had been a, to being a member of the IA group who denied killing Oyeumi's Oyeumi, brother. He stated that his members were on a revenge mission on AA members that allegedly killed one of their members identified simply as Michael at Okomola area of Elasa Major. He said that Sadiq Oyewumi was the group's target but they killed his brother when they could not get him. Drama while investigation was going on with a view to rounding off other fleeing members of both confraternities, Miriam Abiola was arrested. On reaching the Lassa Major division, she identifies Sadiq Oyewumi as the person who usually gave her pictures and addresses of the rival court members to kill. The drama continued at the Lagos State Police Command Headquarters, Ikeja, where Sadiq denied knowing Abiola. Facing Abiola, Sadiq asked, What is the meaning of A? In response, she said, You people did not tell me the meaning. Insisting that he did not know Abiola, Sadiq said, we don't admit women into our fold. Since she claimed to be a member, she should know what AA means. How I became a killer. At this point, Abiola bent her head, shook it intermittently, but there was no sign of remorse in her as she raised her head and beamed with smile, saying, so, I was only used? Narrating how she came in contact with Sadiq, the 20-year-old said, I am the second born of my parents. I have always dreamed of being rich right from when I was a child, but never came to reality as my parents were poor. Today, I am an orphan. When the burden to cater for my education was too much to bear, I quit my education at Senior Secondary School 3 from Premier Grammar School, Abiola, Abiokuta. I fled home without telling my siblings where I was going. I came to Lagos to hustle. While wandering on the streets of Lagos, I came across one sepe. Brother Sadiq suspected a leader sibling. I was staying with Brother Wasiu. During one of our discussions, Brother Sadiq told me he would introduce me to a job that would fetch me money. He said, I need to blend into the system by being a member of AA first. I agreed and was initiated into a confraternity. He taught me how to shoot. I had training in shooting with him three times by learning how to aim at a target. By the time I went through training three times, I knew how to fire a shot. One day, he brought a picture of one man for me to kill. The target lived at Fabio Street. 
On that first operation, I was taken to a herbalist who performed an oath of secrecy on me and also fortified me against being caught during the operation. I was given some concussion that would make me bold. That night, I went in the company of three other members of the gang who jumped the fence of the target's building and opened the gate for me to enter. They led me to the target's apartment where I met him sleeping on the mat while some of his family members slept on the couch and on the bed. All I did was to fire the target in the chest and forehead, after which I walked away. Something happened with the second, third and fourth targets. Some of the targets were killed at Azan and Ajay Street, all in his last major. Whenever I was going to kill, I usually wore Jalamia and hijab so that no one would suspect me because the mission was usually carried out at night. At the end of each mission, Sadiq would give me 10,000 naira. When I returned the gun to him, others got 20,000 naira. He told me that the targets were rival quarters. Promotion to Ayad Assassin After the last killing, Brother Sadiq told me that I had become a professional assassin and that I need to operate on a higher terrain. He said I would no longer be a year eat girl, that he would retain me as an assassin for some high placed people in the society since election was around the corner and that I would be better paid. I never felt bad killing people. I believe it is because of the charms given to me by the Abalis. I was not ready to quit because I was told calamity would befall me if I told anyone what I was into. People know me in Ilasa Maja but not as a killer because nothing gave me away as one. My friends were usually members of the same court groups. Arrested. Continuing, she said, Before I was arrested, I went to look for Brother Sadiq on Friday because we had someone to drop, meaning kill, on Sunday. But on getting to his place, I was told he had been arrested. He gave me a box in which were some weapons to give to Basi who lives on Ogumbo Valley Street. I was returning the box to him since I didn't see Wasu, only to be told he had been arrested. I was going to the police station to know why he was arrested since he was not engaged in a fight only to be arrested. I am not the only woman in the group. There are more than 20 others but I don't know where they live. As how she felt after the arrest, she replied, as usual, every criminal face feels bad when arrested because by then that influencer would have left them. In my case, I don't smoke like others do before going for an operation. My influencer is the fortification by the harvest, she points at him, and I see human beings as flies that can be killed at will. Efforts to reach our relatives in Abelkuta to ascertain if our parents were dead as she claimed fade as the number given to the reporters were switched off. That is the story of the young girl, Miriam Abiola, who never smoked, 
who never drank, but all dream of becoming rich by the means shown to her when she arrived in Lagos. Naively, she was convinced of a job that could fetch her 10,000 bucks every time she goes out to kill. Thanks for watching and if you are still yet to subscribe, please do so and click on the red notification bell. See you some other time. Bye for now.